You gonna do it, buddy? <laughs> you puking? I'm like so close to vomit. <laughs> My head I, is like... I don't mean to laugh. I'm just so sensitive to the oxygen. Looking at Giant Steps Kular here in the Eastern Sierra. It's a big one. <laughs> this is uh, probably the single biggest line in the book as far as vertical feet and distance of travel, uh, at least for a single day push. There's a potential that it can be 20 miles and over 12,000 vert. Go get some soggy socks and blisters. <laughs> Bring your electrolytes. Uh, luckily I brought my buddy who's gonna be on the Sufferfest with me, Nick Russell, snowboarder out of Tahoe. He's been getting after it this year, so. Token knuckle dragger yeah. of the project. I always need one of those. Guess what? Someone got a binocular sponsor. Now I can actually scope lines. I would guesstimate only like 10 to 12 parties have ever skied this. Because it's got a high price of admission. I think the, the funny part is skiing the line is the least of the cruxes. Like right. that's the easiest part of the day. Mm -hmm. Figuring out how to get in from the south all the way to the summit, figuring out where to drop in. Now we have three options potentially that could include either hours and hours of bushwhacking and, and stream crossing or another 4,000 vert on top of the, what, 9,000 it takes to get to the top. So my secret weapon is this guy, Nate Greenberg. He wrote the book, the backcountry book for here. So I'm gonna give him a call and see if he wants to come skiing with us. Maybe he knows more about how to get in and out that big hole line. Hey, what's up, Nate? Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, cool. I was just getting out there for a Hi. sec. So, how you doing? Good, you? Good, good. It's a beautiful day out here. Went for a little hike, looked at the line, and yeah, can you come hit giant steps with us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that way. Sweet. We'll see you in a bit. Stoked. Yeah, we'll see ya. All right. Later. Guidebook guy is in. <laughs> now if we get lost, we can blame it on him. <laughs> so we're here. Right there, so you're saying, like is it this little like drainage right there? Yeah, I think this is the notch. Let's see if I get this fucking topo. Even guidebook guy doesn't know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a proper ski mountaineering descent on 14er. Oh, we're at 6,000 and that thing's 14.3. Yeah. It's the second highest peak in the Sierra. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> good Good. you know what you're getting into. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Just, you know, good to get yourself a little bit more like... Process huh, it. It's going to be a big day. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Wandering around in the dark. Yeah. It's like five, five minutes of like, oh yeah, this is the way. And then five minutes of like, hmm. wait, where are we? <laughs> so... We'll just keep doing that. Keep doing that for another hour? A couple yeah. hours. Yeah. Should be somewhere. Yeah. About an hour in. Still kind of don't know exactly where we're going. We're almost somewhere. It's the closest we've ever been. It'll be really beautiful in the sun. Soon we'll be in the sun. We'll be chilling. We still have like 7,000 vertical feet to go. <laughs> It's kind of finally making sense now that we're in the light and have some good visuals. Right, it's nice now when the sun is coming up. This is just gorgeous. It's amazing. Look at that. No place else I'd rather be right now. I don't know how much fur we've got, but we got a lot longer. Switching up to booting up this last couloir. And then I think we're at, once we get up this last few I think we're 
kind of at this like summit plateau, maybe a thousand more feet. Nice work on that boot pack. Yeah, team. <laughs> Not much there. I think I got the black lung pop. I got my powder lungs. How's it going? Oh yeah, she going. Yeah, first time starting to feel the altitude, but moving slow. Um, earlier I felt pretty good, and I was like, you know, it goes up and down. You know, sometimes you feel great, sometimes you don't, and then you feel good again. And then I said that altitude might hit me because I know I'm very sensitive to it. And right now, this sucks. <laughs> it, it hit you. It's like, it totally hit me, dude. Our line is all the way over there. But, you 200 feet from the second tallest mountain in California. Might as well go. Even though you're freaking punched. We did it. 14,300 feet. Second highest peak in the Sierra. Sixth highest peak in the continental United States? Sixth. Sixth. Yeah. We are here. Then we go drop the ski somewhere over there. That's their next challenge. Really love this stuff. You know, it's literally the days that we live for. Being up in the Alpine, the high country, it's just endless. And this is where we live. How lucky are we? We're about to go down there to the Beef Guar, giant steps, and uh, hopefully we find some good snow. A little, little bit of goatin' and we're in there. We sketchily down climbed that and it was like chossy, gnarly rock fall. Realize it's not it. Huh? How's it down climb? Yeah, we're doing it. Found it. But Chazzy Rock Holly was definitely not in. <laughs> Just got to the tent of Giant Steps. Ten hours later, Ten here hours we are. Later. <laughs> but it's funny how the thought of going downhill and putting my skis on to go downhill all of a sudden gets me like 10 times more energy. Trace does you know dropping. Don't fall there. Do any snowboarders in your short skis? Sure, no worries. Giant Steps is done. She yeah. got it done. Five. I mean, the adventure never stops till you get to the car, and getting to the car is gonna be an adventure. Still got all this way to go. Back to the desert. How amazing does something have to be where you can have the longest, most brutal day of your life, ride something where if you fall, you'll probably die in variable snow, and it still be the best day ever? Like, I would, 
there's very few things in the world like that that bring you like a, I don't know, this like euphoric joy. It's weird, dude. But we are uh, trudging along, trying to beat the darkness. I think it should be dark pretty soon. Probably at the buzzer, I bet, when we get to the car. And we got a cooler full of cold ones. 10.2 at the bottom. Made it to the car! Holy smokes! What a day, what a day. But uh, here, you, I got something for you. What do you think of giant steps? Oh. Well, what's your takeaway? I thought it was insane, dude. That was crazy. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Well, man. <laughs> Good yeah. job, everyone. That's the way to end it.